Hey guys, Rick with Tough Talk Wallets here, and today's video is a Q&A. I asked my Instagram followers to ask me a series of questions that I can answer here on this video, and I got such a great response, so thank you to everybody who asked me a question. My apologies if I don't answer your question. If you really want to know the answer, you can just send me a personal message, and I will be glad to answer it there. Uh, so I will be answering about 10 or so questions just to keep the video a little short. But the first question was asked by Kelly's Wallets. She asked, how did you get so popular so fast? And the, ba the way I got popular so fast was just thinking outside the box and just being different and trying to create new ways that I can help the duct tape community. One was by creating the flesh tone duct tape. You know, that helped a lot of tapers that do, you know, very, you know, cartoon designs or people designs because now they can create their own flesh tone and actually get an accurate color to match the person's skin. Um, also, by creating very intricate designs, you know, a lot of people do very simple designs like the Nike logo, the Superman, Batman logo, which is really cool. You know, I like those logos, but they're very simple and a lot of people can do them. So if you want to gain popularity, you have to make wallets and designs that are very hard to do and very intricate and are time consuming. And, you know, people will like your photos and people will follow you because they see that you have really nice work. So if you want to gain you know, popularity, you can, you know, you have to make uh, very intricate designs. Also, another way to gain popularity is by uh, hosting contests or doing giveaways on your channel or Instagram page because uh, everybody loves free stuff. I mean, I love free stuff. If I can get something for free, then I'm totally going to get it. So definitely do giveaways and that'll help your page a lot. So giveaways and contests and making uh, intricate designs is going to help you gain popularity. Okay, another question was asked, uh, the same person asked, how often do you change your X-Acto blade? I change my X-Acto blade every other wallet. Um, each of my wallets that I do that are the portrait style uh, usually consists of about 200 individual pieces. So I do get a lot of use out of my blade when I'm making one design on a wallet. So, and I tend to press a little hard on the tape you know, that's why I don't really get many strings on my designs. A lot of people ask me how I cut out my designs with no strings and how I cut my designs very clean. And that's how I do it because I use, I put a lot of pressure on my, uh, when I'm cutting out the designs. So uh, I have to change them out every, every other wallet or so. And because I usually uh, uh, chip the end of the, the blade. So I just use, usually what I do, I just toss it aside and I use that to make the wallet because the wallet doesn't really take a sharp blade to, to make. So I have like a stack of uh, broken blades, but I still use them. So I do, ch I change my blade every other wallet. Uh, the underscore real underscore Chris underscore 85, wow, that's a long name, asked, what was your inspiration to start duct taping? My inspiration to start duct taping was definitely hands down my girlfriend Chantel. If it wasn't for her, then I wouldn't be here making this video about duct tape. Uh, she's the one that inspired me to start duct taping. She's actually the one that even inspired me to, to bring out the artistic and creative side. Um, before Tell, uh, I used to draw and do a lot of doodles and cartoons. And then for some reason, for about eight years, I didn't do anything artistic at all. So when I met her, you know, she's, she's a crafty girl herself. So she started showing me all these, you know, things people made, and then she showed me a duct tape wallet, and I was like, wow, you know, I can do that. You know, I used to be artistic, and I could draw, and I could cut out designs, so I could do that. So I started duct taping, so definitely, uh, she's my biggest inspiration. Um, so, okay, duct tape bosses asked, how do you stay patient while making a design? Um, well, I don't really get impatient when I'm cutting my designs, because when I'm cutting out design, I really get lost in the work, you know. I start a design and, you know, the next thing I, I'm, you know, just working, working, working. The next thing I know, I look up, it's like two hours have gone by. So, you know, I have a lot of fun doing it. So I, you know, the time just flies. And so I really don't lose patience. So that's how I guess I stay patient. Uh, Sixella underscore asked, what do you like to do other than duct taping? Well, prior to duct taping, I was really, really, really into fitness. I still am into fitness, but because of duct taping and orders, and work and just having a social life. I really haven't been committed to my fitness, but sometime in August and October, I will be taking a short break because I do plan on competing in a men's physique competition, which is basically uh, competing 
it's not necessarily bodybuilding, but it's more like a beach body type of competition. So I will definitely uh, be doing that. That's one of my goals that I had planned before duct taping. So I will be doing that. So I will be taking a short break. Of course, I will announce it when I will be taking that break. And if uh, you guys are interested in seeing my, I guess my fitness, uh, my fitness passion or want to know a little bit about fitness, you guys can follow my personal Instagram, which is at Ricky Solis, R-I-C-K-Y-S-O-L-I-S. -S. And, you know, I, I post, I haven't been posting lately, but I will start posting, you know, a lot of pictures of the diet that I use, um, you know, progress pics of how I look and stuff like that. So if you guys want to check that out, you definitely can. So that's what I like to do besides duct tape, workout. Uh, duct tape in action asked, what is one of your duct tape weaknesses? My one of my biggest biggest weaknesses are uh, duct tape rose pens or petals or whatever you want to call them. I suck at making rose pens or whatever those are. I made one and it looked like a two year old made it. Uh, Tell actually made fun of me, so after that I really didn't want to make them. So that is my weakness: uh, petals and rose rose duct tape roses. Uh, Lt Duck Designs asked, "What other crafts do I do you like to do, and what's your favorite?" Well, um, like I said, I used to draw before, so I like drawing. I've painted a few times. Um, if you guys follow Owl Create, you've, see, you've probably seen the, the, the line that I painted on my Tom shoes, um, which came out really, really cool. That was actually like one of the first, second, third times I painted, and it came out really nice. So painting is definitely a nice craft that I like to do. I don't do much of it, but I hope to in the future. But as far as the number one... My favorite thing is definitely duct taping. I love it. I love everything about it. And so duct tape is number one. Okay. Uh, AJS Wallets asks, how many rolls of tape do you have? I have over, last time I checked, it was about over 400 rolls. Uh, at one point, I was addicted to buying duct tape rolls. I mean, every time I had a break from work, uh, there's a Walmart maybe like a half a block down the road. So or maybe half a mile or whatever and so on my lunch breaks or after work or before work I would go to Walmart to check if the new tapes were there uh, every single day and I would I was addicted to buying I mean it was buying duct tape was like a drug to me and I loved it so you know I got to a, cer a certain point where I was like you know I'm spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on duct tape that I'm not even using so you know I need to calm down and just you know use what I have and if I need them need any extra then I'll buy whatever's there and if the new tapes come out you know I'll just buy one roll instead of every single roll that's there so I have and because of my addiction I have over 400 rolls of duct tape okay uh, LGE4 asked what do you do while making duct tape stuff while I'm making the design since it takes me about three to four hours I like to usually uh, listen to Pandora and um, I'll make one design, one half of a wallet, and then I'll just uh, watch TV or eat something or just go on Instagram or YouTube and check, see what's going on. And then I'll uh, continue with the design. So I definitely like listening to Pandora. Uh, Sixella also asked, I believe, uh, what kind of music do I like? I like, one of, one of my favorite artists of all time is Michael Jackson. Love, love, love Michael Jackson. So I listen to Michael Jackson. Another one of my biggest, mo most you know, my favorite artist is also Christopher Drew from Never Shout Never. Um, I, I, I love his music. Also, I'm a big fan. I like Drake, you know, Lil Wayne. I love country, George Strait. I listen to pretty much everything that's out there. Um, so, as long as it has a good tune, a good rhythm, and the lyrics are, are meaningful, then I definitely will listen to it. And let's see. Um, those are all the answers, questions I have written down. Uh, I know a lot of people asked um, how long I've been taping. I've been taping for about maybe 11 months. July 9th will be uh, officially one year, so I'll probably be doing a giveaway on my one year anniversary of duct taping, so definitely uh, keep a lookout for that. And uh, let's see, what other questions? A lot of people ask me how I do my portrait style or if I use an app. Unfortunately, I do not use an app. Uh, since I was artistic prior to duct taping, you know, I use those skills to create uh, my portrait style um, designs. Um, so the way I see it, uh, it's like drawing, but you're using duct tape. So 
if you if you're really good at drawing and can distinguish shadows and highlights in a person's face, then you are definitely good at you will be good at cutting out portrait style designs. Um, and, well, there is an app that you guys you guys could use for por if you want to make like a pop art type image, and it's called Popstomatic. So definitely check that out if you want to create um, portrait style or pop art kind of images on your wallets. So uh, those are all the questions I'm going to answer today because the video is uh, 10 minutes long so far. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, so please like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.